Hi everyone, thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art and thank you Donna for inviting me to be in this spooky collaboration. So let's get down to the canvas and I will see you there. Hi everybody, thank you for joining us early on a Sunday morning. You will see all of the wonderful artists in this collaboration listed above. You probably saw several yesterday and the other half is today. I wanted to say a big shout out to Donna for always inviting me to be involved in these collaborations. Donna, you are so, so much more than um, art by Donna. You're a wonderful friend. I just adore you. So thank you. Thank you. I also want to um, make sure that I mention that in my art piece um, today, I am going to be doing a piece inspired by Go Art. If you have not checked out their channel, please make sure you do so. Um, I have been watching them and I love some of their pieces and I hope I make them proud. So let's get down to the canvas. I will see you there. So right now I am just making a um, pattern for my circle that I'm going to use for my moon out of tape. And um, what I loved about this collaboration is that we could do anything that we wanted to do but we had to use teal, copper, and black. So I did use other colors, but I did use teal, copper, and black. Now I am actually just cutting around the tape, and this is just a cool way where you can make your pattern stick to your canvas um, with the tape. I love it. I love doing it with a template like this. So. Donna, you had mentioned the Rocky Horror Show. I had no idea what that was. I'm so sorry, everyone. So we went on, we, we followed your link, and um, I watched a little bit of it, and I just decided that I would wing it. But um, needless to say, um, I just love Halloween. I always dressed up when I was younger and um, I always dressed my daughter up in these cute little outfits. So you can see I pulled the tape off of the circle, which is very cool, put it on my canvas and I'm just putting a little gloss gel medium around the edges to seal it. So after I seal the edges, I will be adding some white paint all over the canvas just to give it a good base coat. And that's what I'm doing next. Um, I used to love to go to Halloween parties when I got into my, I wanna say early 20s. I always went to um, a local club and we they dress up and I remember winning a costume contest um, dressing up as a can-can girl. And I was so thrilled when I won because um, I rented the costume, so it wasn't a cheap win, but it was really, it was a lot of fun. Um, going there, I was, I was very surprised. I was very young then, certainly wouldn't be dressing up as a can-can girl now, <laughs> but it is still a lot of fun thinking back all those memories of carving pumpkins and um, my mom, we always carved pumpkins either once or twice before Halloween. We had a really big front porch. We'd like to light them all up. And um, I just, I have a lot of fond memories. So right now I'm going through and I am just covering with the colors. That is actually golden teal that I'm using. I love that color. I really haven't used a lot of it, but I will be in the future. And then I'm adding some um, cobalt blue, trying to make a little bit of water, and um, adding a little bit of yellow, uh, fluorescent yellow, because I'm hoping that the moon will shine down through the water. Now I'm actually adding some stars for a starry night, and now the fun part. There's something so satisfying about peeling that tape off of the canvas. I absolutely love it. Um, I decide to use um, a fluorescent yellow for my moon 
and I'm just going in and filling this out um, filling it in I should say and um, making the base for my moon I always love going to the pumpkin patch when I was younger and we had our own pumpkin patch and when I say we had a pumpkin patch. We used to, I was raised on a farm, and we used to take the um, manure spreader, yes, you heard me right, and we would go up on the hill and we would create this really great area fertilizer, need, needless, uh, needless to say, um, and we'd plant our pumpkins. And when I tell you, we had so many pumpkins. Um, we lived, on a, a highway so our house was pretty far from the road um, and we would just line them all out on our yard and people would stop all night long and so I would go out there and sell the pumpkins and I was so proud of them we had all sizes we had huge pumpkins and you know back then pumpkins were so much cheaper than they are now but it was a lot of fun. I have a lot of fond memories of growing the pumpkins. So you just saw me with a Posca pen. I created three really cool stars in the sky. I had these really neat stickers from my scrapbooking days. And I'm just making a pumpkin face that um, I'm going to use for my um, template kind of as I use a sponge and go over my moon with some orange and copper and a little bit of golden's fluorescent orange as well. I just absolutely fell in love with this picture when I saw it um, watching Go Art. Again, that's where I got this idea. I just love it. I actually have created two of these. Um, I have some upcoming uh, pop-ups and uh, other craft shows throughout the holidays so I thought it was pretty cool to have a couple done I really had a lot of fun doing it that's for sure So now I am going in and outlining my pumpkin face with a Posca pen just to give it a little bit more distinction when I remove the stickers. And the Posca pens are great. They come in all different tip sizes. And for this one, I'm using a medium tip on the Posca pen. I am now removing the stickers um, from the pumpkin face and they actually stuck a little bit more than I would like them to. So thank goodness for my nifty um, tweezers that have the really fine point. So I was able to get all of it off and I am now going in and painting the background in the fluorescent orange by Golden. And it adds a great contrast with the copper and orange that I sponged on the face first. 
So let's go ahead and fill this in and I will see you at the next step. See you there. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna add some of that beautiful golden copper to the water with a little bit of orange, just trying to create some depth um, for the trees before I add the trees. So the next thing that I am going to do is I'm adding just some touch-ups along the water line to make it look more of um, a layered look with your stars and then the lighter ocean in the back Okay, so I am just going to give the sky some beautiful highlights and I am almost ready to start adding the trees. This isn't really a spooky um, painting, but I do love the effects and the meaning of Halloween. I do love scary movies, um, only if I'm watching them with my husband. I do not like to watch them alone, that's for sure. My one of the first scary movies that my parents allowed me to really watch was um, at a movie, drive in movie. My mom and her best friend Ann, in 1980, I believe, we went to see um, Friday the 13th. It was the first one. Okay, so I am now using carbon black and I am going to create my trees. I'm using a fan brush. This is really a very simple process. I love making trees with this fan brush. You can make them as scarce as you want with the leaves, the limbs, or as thick as you would like. Um, there are all different ways too. The way that you tilt the brush creates different effects. Thank you so much for joining me in this spooky collaboration. Please check out all the artists from yesterday and continue watching today. I would love if you'd give me a big like and subscribe. And don't forget, HEMA Art is up next. See you there.